I got one more video I want to show, and it's from uh, the interview that uh, Dr. Phil did with Donald Trump. And he's talk, and Dr. Phil's talking to the studio audience, and one of the people he talks to. Not only that, he does a poll with the studio audience: Will you vote for Donald Trump or not? Or will you vote for a convicted felon? Is what he asked. Right, right. <laughs> so let me go ahead and play it. Hey, George Washington, he was a felon. Well, actually, the first five presidents were yeah. felons. Yep, all they were all traitors had the war yep. gone a different way. Yes, sir. Great interview. Saw a side of him I hadn't seen before. My name is Keith. I know your name's Keith. <laughs> um, We've I got still a meeting this way. Yes, sir. I know it. Uh, I'm that bad penny. I keep showing up, yeah, you know. Good. So just keep showing up. Um, I still have a problem with voting for somebody for president that is a convicted felon. Oh, and I'm yeah. that. That is what? That is a convicted felon. That's trouble for me. Uh, I don't think that somebody in that capacity uh, should be allowed to run for president, but the rules are the rules. Well, that's right. And in fact, that goes to our first question on the poll. Let's look at that. The first question was asked, I would vote for a convicted felon for president of the United States. 91% <laughs> say yes. And then Keith and a few stragglers say no. <laughs> Uh, so 91% of the people say yes. And I don't know if that's because they think that's kind of a bogus conviction or if they think it's a white collar conviction or something. That's something we need to drill down more on. But 91% of the people say they would. Now, Romeo, why do you think that is? Well, I, I was just thinking 100% of the people who are going to vote for Donald Trump would well, vote for a felon. Oh, so. well, no, no, no. That ain't my question. Why do you think that over uh, one majority of people that are part, uh, that are in that uh, that uh, studio audience, 91% would vote for a convicted felon. I, I think it's take Trump out of it. Just take Trump out of it. Just go. Oh, with the oh. felon. I think they realize that the the uh, you're saying take out of it the specifics of the yes. case. Just just go with. Let's say. Uh, by, Biden was a convicted felon. You think Democrats wouldn't vote for him? Hell yeah, they would vote for him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, That's, take the I names out. A, just go with convicted felon. I think there's a general understanding uh, that you could get wrapped up and become a felon, but not be a bad person, not be a bad person to be led by. Um, a felony doesn't necessarily make someone unqualified to do a job. That would be a real logical error. Well, I agree with that part, but I think there's also more to it. I, people realize uh, that people on juries and judges are people too. They make mistakes. Not only that, sometimes you don't get the full evidence you need for a case until later on. And when it's prosecuted at the time, technology evolves and you find out more information and, and you find out people aren't actually felons or aren't actually uh, right, people right. that committed the crime. And people know that. And that's the reason I think people have evolved. That's also the reason uh, the forefathers of America decided to convict the felon does not uh, uh, does not uh, keep you from running for president. Yeah, because obviously you could get wrapped up and become a felon. Go ahead. Well, most of us probably commit a felony several times a year. We just don't get caught. You, you have no idea how many different things are on the books as a felony. So, again, I, yeah, I agree with you, Matt. People tend to understand that the, the branding of a felon doesn't mean too much. The real question is, for what? What did he do? What, yeah. what did person X do?